What's up, y'all? This is Aquarius Robbers back at it again with another episode of Divinity Unleashed. And so we have traveled through the major arcana. We have got them all. Hope you guys checked out the world video. Um, it's a very, very awesome video and teach you a lot of good things. But now we're jumping into the minor arcana cards. And so for those of you who are new to Minor Arcana, Minor Arcana are secrets that we can deal with on Earth, that we have the choice to handle. So Major Arcana, if you checked out the last video where the introduction to the Pinnacles, um, you'll, you'll, you'll see I, I break this down, basically, what Pinnacles mean. But just for a short version, for those of you who might have missed that video, uh, Pinnacles are all about shielding manifestation, hoarding, holding, um, 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 traveling, work, business, investments, commerce, uh, commercials, you know what I mean? Your environment, this, these are earth cards, right? And so major arcana, to break it down, major arcana are secrets that the universe gives to you that you have no control over, right? Like, like, like when the universe wants you to chill out and you have a baby, one of those type of things, right? Um, but minor arcana are choices that we make daily within our, our realm of free choice um, to manifest what we want out of our decisions, right? And so we come to our first card in the earth sector, uh, and it is the ace of pentacles i really like this card i really like this card and this card is misunderstood to me a little bit right because um when people see this they're like "Ooh, an opportunity right but what i feel from the card is it's not just an opportunity but it's an opportunity given from the divine it's almost like hey here's a little bit of help for you Huh. you know what I mean? Huh. Let me throw this at you real quick. You know what I mean? Because as you see, this is a big pinnacle with a hand coming from the clouds, offering it. It's offering it, right? And so you see down here, there is grass and, you know, um, there is an arch here, right? An arch is to go through a gateway, right? And when you think of um, flowers and stuff like that, you think of growing plants, right? Just the simplicity of it. You think in, you're thinking of growing plants that, um, that are manifestation, manifest, manifesting something beautiful within your life, right? Because look at this. This is, these are adorned with flowers of all different kinds, you know what I mean? And so it's almost like you're thinking of a marriage, a wedding, you know what I mean? Um, something that's going to make you emotionally happy or a step that you're going to take that's going to fulfill your life, right? So as you see, there's a pathway here. There's a pathway here, and then there's lighter green grass, right? And so the lighter green grass for me is, is the brightness. It's the brightness within the pathway that we're going to walk into this new beginning. And so this is something that you're going to see physically in your environment once again because this is earth this is something that can protect you basically to say right and so because it's the markava the pinnacle is the markava actually and it speaks about the markava in uh the 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 um emerald tablets right thoth actually rode on a markava uh to travel in so you think about something that can travel money can travel right and so this card is all about opportunities, the beginning of new opportunities that are coming into your life. And these are physical opportunities. So if you're going to get a new job, that would be a physical opportunity. If you start a new relationship that's going to last long, this would be the card that would show up. If you, if you, if you are manifesting an idea from out of nowhere, from out of nowhere, this hand's coming from out of nowhere. 
So an idea that comes from out of nowhere that you literally bring into the physical realm to turn into something great, basically. So this card is a one card. And so this is, there's only four aces in the deck. I'm sorry, I can't count. Uh, there's only four aces in the deck. Um, and so these are considered to be luck cards, right? Because rarely will you get an ace. And I'll teach you guys about like other spreads and stuff like that, where you can use the aces for like yes or no questions and stuff like that. But we'll get to that all later. So just, just keep joining in and subscribe, like, please. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, um, the mountains here, the mountains in the background. So if you ever see mountains in the tarot, these are about conflicts, right? So blue is emotions, right? Blue is the color of emotions. It's the color of sitting still and waiting to see. It's like the, the, the high priestess, I'm sorry, the high priestess. So, um, so then this card would be more for the, the, the mountain being behind, you know, this arch here, this beautiful arch. It's like, you don't know what's on the other side. You have no idea what's on the other side. It could be very, it could be a mountain to climb. You might have a lot of work ahead of you, right, in this situation. But this could also be about traveling. This could be about traveling and traveling to different places and kind of like going the long haul, going to a long place. Like if you move somewhere over country, you know what I mean? You could see a car like this because it's like real manifestation and this is long longevity earth is all about longevity being loyal right and so maybe you ask the question about is this person going to be loyal to me and the ace of pentacles shows up and it says yes but there's a lot of work that you're going to have to put into the situation for this to happen for this person to continue to be loyal to you so it's like that opportunity is in hand right now. It's like, oh, I got the opportunity to make a better change in my life and it result and the results will be long and lovely. I'm not going to change this decision. I'm going to continue to do things. I mean, I'm going to continue to do things in the way that I've seen them in my head so that I can produce the results, the Ace of Pentacles results, right? Because this is an also it's a hand. So if a hand offers you something and you don't take it, the hand takes it back. This is why there's only four aces in the deck because they come up short term and they're luck cards, right? So when you see an ace, usually for me, when I see an ace in a reading, I think i got to clarify it, right? Because it's like, yeah, there's an opportunity in hand, but what type of opportunity? So for aces, I usually always clarify aces just for your understanding and your growth. Um, I always clarify aces um, just to give you a better substance of what's really truly going on in the reading or with this ace of pinnacle. So um, as a personality card, um, the ace of pinnacles is a person who's an opportunist, a person who's always like, where's the new opportunities at? I would think of young Jeezy as being a uh, ace of pinnacles type of person you know what i mean where he's like always talking about opportunity he might not be talking about the correct opportunities but he's talking about opportunities that you can take he's always manifesting a new idea to make money so you could think of like rich people or billionaires stuff like that that would be like the ace of pinnacle personality because they're always like where's the next idea where can i invest my money in now for the longevity a person that invest in art or something like that. So as I said before, this is a one card. And so one in numerology is all about manifestation. It's about creating something from nothing, right? And so as you see, the hand is being offered out from out of nowhere. And so this opportunity comes from nowhere. So one is all about you getting the opportunity to create something out of the scraps you've been given. You know what I mean? The ideas, the ideas that you've been given, you can manifest this into a physical, into a physical means. So when you get the Ace of Pentacles in a reading, you're thinking 
you're thinking, okay, there's an opportunity coming up for me to manifest something in longevity terms, right? Something that will shield me. If I'm making money, that shields you. You know what I mean? To be able to manifest something out of nothing, uh, like an idea or a business plan or a venture or just a traveling idea or you want to go over places. Yeah. But also, I want you to pay attention to something here because colors mean so much. There's gray around this card. So as you see, there's confusion. Gray is the color of confusion. You think of gray clouds, right? Gloomy days. Uh, so you're thinking of confusion that's going on around you. But this opportunity actually comes within all that confusion. So it's almost like you're looking for a job. I keep using job because pinnacles are so much about manifestation, but they could be love too, you know, as I used an example earlier. But you could be looking for a job, right? And say you got several opportunities. So several, several employers are calling you right now. And you're like, dang, which one do I take? Within one of those opportunities, out of those many opportunities, there's one that will literally make you happy. And so you literally have to sit and think about what this this opportunity could be all right relationship let's use that as an example you got a group of friends that you hang around and maybe two or three of these people like you man or woman i don't know but maybe two or three of these people like you right and so you gotta pick out of all three of these people that like you and there's one that will be the one you know what I mean? The one that will you can go a long time with. Um, but you're going to have to put the work in. You're going to have to see this person. So out of all three of these people, one of these people are the Ace of Pentacles, right? One of these people may be the Five of Wands. We'll talk about that later. But you know what I mean? Um, but the person that's this, this is the person that will manifest in your life to be the best benefit benefit pinnacles for you in the long run in the long term outcome okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this is aquarius roberts till next time let the divinity be unleashed in you blessings guys